Hi everyone, welcome to Life Me Simply. My name is Nikki. In today's video, I'm talking all about my home office. Hi everyone, I'm Nikki. If you're new here, I invite you to subscribe to join the Simple Life Society. I share home and lifestyle tips to help simplify your everyday life. And for more daily inspiration, please follow me on my Instagram, Made Simply Home. Today I'm talking all about my home office. I'll be sharing with you how I created it, what products I use, and how I keep it organized, as well as how I style it. I'm sharing an updated tour because I've not shared my home office since moving here and I've also added an upgrade or an extension to my basic home office table. I created this extension work table to do multiple things such as be a craft table so I have like my Cricut machine, I do a lot of my crafts so I have that free space to work. This also works as our picture taking station because we do post and list items online so we use it as a picture photo booth station. As as well as a place where we also pack and ship our items that we also sell online so it just really does a lot of work and we really needed that extra space and I just love how it all came out I definitely wanted to work with the space that we had where we live and just make it more functional for us the wall we're using for the desk is across of our kitchen and it started off as a small three-piece desk and a folding shelf but because we needed more workspace, I found a tabletop and legs to create an extension and chose some pretty contact paper with a neutral cane webbing print to cover the blemishes on top. I'm so glad that I found this tabletop and legs for only $10 on Facebook Marketplace. I'm always constantly checking there to see if I can find items that I can use for an affordable price. This contact paper was such a lifesaver for transforming the tabletop and it was really easy to work with. I was able to shift it around if I needed it and I just use a straight edge to push out any air bubbles starting from one side to the other. I love this print so much that I ended up using it in another transformation that I'll be sharing here on my channel. So be sure you're subscribed to be notified of my new videos. And let me know in the comments down below if you're a fan of using contact paper. Now I have more space for my large craft machine, supplies, and more importantly, more desktop space to get work done. Having two desks side by side would be ideal for people working together from home or if you need more workspace for your kids to do their schoolwork at home. When working with a smaller space, I like to take advantage of vertical wall space. Here I added a hanging organizer that I already had. It helps hold more of my craft supplies and I can display some of my favorite items. You can easily find storage like these in the office supply section. I also found these storage containers that clip onto the sides and I love how I can easily bring them down and place them on my desk when I need to use them. To use as a task board, I added a dry erase square that I already had. This is my foolproof way of hanging things by the way and it works every time. This is the perfect place for me to jot down my to-do list or any notes I need while working on my projects. Now it's time to update the computer desk. I found this beautiful desktop riser on Amazon that goes perfectly with the decor I wanted. It's white with bamboo drawers and I will also have the links to all of the products in the description box so be sure to check that out. I also treated myself to a new monitor which I've always wanted. I picked one that is white obviously. It really helps to have dual screens and even a larger screen while I'm editing, so I'm very happy with these upgrades. 
I am first starting with a blank slate on my desk, giving it a good wipe. And that's just my hard drive there if you're wondering what that is. I placed the computerizer in the center and started adding my new accessories. Let me know in the comments what your home office setup looks like or what your dream office setup would be. Here comes my favorite part, styling the space. I love adding functional and decorative pieces to give a balance to my space. Um, this riser offers more storage and I love the look of it and I especially like how I can tuck my laptop below it. I love all the storage that this riser has. It has pockets and slots for my phone, my pens, my coffee mug, and in the drawers I put things that I use the most including some sticky notes. And on the right, I put my binders that I use both for work and for school. Above my desk, I have a shelf that's more for displaying decor. I put my YouTube plaque in the center and surrounded it with some neutral and calming decor that some were old and some that I purchased brand new and I just love the look of it and it just helps just remind me of my channel and everything that I'm working for. To the right, I finally found a hook that is large enough to hang my ring light. This is a small change but makes me so happy that it has its own place. Overall, I'm so pleased with how everything came together and all of the extra space we have for the work we do from home and a place to relax and do some crafting. My best piece of advice when creating a workspace is to make sure it's functional for you. Start with what you already have, research the right storage that you actually need, and add your personal taste to it, of course. I just am so in love with this space that I look forward to sitting down and working on new projects and just being more inspired by the space around me. Be sure to check out my website madesimplyco.com for more pictures and information. So I kind of also wanted to show you how it looks while I'm working, how I made this space functional for me. So I have here where I do work. Here is the craft work table which I had taken off because I'm using our kitchen island here and this is where I film and have like this sort of backdrop so my whole kitchen area can turn into a filming studio which is really easy for me to do because all I have to do is smooth stuff around. I have my light right here that I use for filming but just to kind of share with you how my work in progress looks and how this office space has become very, very functional. I love that we have the two chairs here, so, so it's really versatile and I'm able to use it as a filming studio as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some tips and inspiration out of it. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below answering the question of the day. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.